Storage crates are much more usable in Sea of Thieves than you might have realised. So yes, you can use them for various different quests, but you can also use them for resource management and they can be really handy in a number of different ways. You can purchase them from the Merchant Alliance by browsing their resources and commodities. And there's obviously access to a variety of ones here, including the cannibals, bait crates and others. But this standard storage crate is actually the most useful. It will set you back about five grand. However, it is very handy because you can basically store anything in it and loads of different things. Now, you don't need to purchase it. You do find these knocking about on islands and other things, but it is worth having one on your ship. Now, one of the reasons is if you spawn in and you find there's a load of barrels in the water because another ship has logged off at that port, you can simply harpoon the barrels over to the deck and then take what's out of them. Now, obviously, you could grab that and put it in your inventory, but you only had limited storage space. If you grab a storage crate, you can go up and press and hold the take button to basically remove everything from that barrel and put it directly in the storage crate. Then just go back on the harpoon and drop the barrel back into the ocean and repeat the process again. You can do the same with cannonballs, wood crates and fruit barrels as well. And you can basically take everything out of there and put it in the storage crate. This is really handy because then what you can do is you can then take that storage crate around your ship and then do the opposite, dispensing everything that was in the storage crate back into the various barrels around your ship. Obviously, you can do the same sort of logic with a cannonball crate as well. So if you've got a cannonball crate here, you can see this has got 50 cannonballs in it because you can fill it up from the same sort of logic, grabbing other people's barrels from the sea where you've destroyed their ship or they've just sunk nearby and then putting them into the storage barrel by transferring them with that crate. This makes life a lot easier because you're not basically going back and forth between barrels in order to do it. Now, as I said, you can find them on beaches and if you do, make sure you grab one. The other thing to look out for is you will also find rowboats scattered around. The back of the rowboat often has loads of stuff in it. So again, you can take that storage crate when you're on an island, fill up from the rowboat and from various other barrels scattered around and then load it up. Now, another crate that's pretty interesting is the ammo crate. This obviously is usable and has a limit to the number of bullets that it contains within it. But what you can do is you can take it onto your ship, go directly to the ammo crate and fill the entire thing up. You can then go to a merchant and sell that ammo crate for return. So if you find these, fill them up from your ship from the infinite supply on your ship and then sell them for profit.